Oh, it's on. I thought it wasn't on. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Uh, I'm out on the decking, but the weather has turned a little colder. So as you can see, I'm wearing my cape with my furry sleeves. Um, no animal has been harmed <laughs> in making this uh, cape. It's all nylon fur. Uh, my son doesn't like it. He said it's a bit over the top. But I think it's great. <laughs> It's quite nice and sunny actually out here. When my niece was here after we went shopping, it was quite sunny. But it has gone a little chillier now, which is why I'm wearing my cape and I'm nice and warm out here. Well, I've got a parcel from Wool Warehouse. And um, in it is a pack of cream, which is in the Hayfield Bonus Double Knit Extra Value because I had to make up the um, amount of postage because you know I won't pay postage because I'm very tight so what I was actually ordering was the colours for a Harry Potter scarf and blanket for my great nephew the colour actually looks a little bit purple in, on the screen but it is actually a, a light maroon and uh, I've also found a lovely shop on Etsy that's based in the UK and I've ordered um, an embroidered badge it's probably only going to be quite small with the is it griffin odd griffin we can tell I'm not a Harry Potter fan can't you griffin whatever <laughs> the badge anyway they're not going to be full size blankets because they're only small children and they're going to be like lap blankets you know or blankets that they can wear over you know the car seat in the car because they live in London, so they do a bit of commuting, you know, up to see Grandma in Manchester. Or Grandma's in Manchester. There's two of them in Manchester. Sorry, that's my phone. I have got yet another phone. Um, it opens with a fingerprint. Isn't that posh? Uh, what does it say? Oh, right, she sat outside the door. My niece is taking down a bag of uh, more of my crochet uh, I was hoping to get down this week to see Kelly as you know but um, Gigi's daddy changed his days off and so I didn't have a day off on Friday and also my son phoned me and said uh, he'd forgotten that uh, they were going somewhere and would I have Poppy so she's in there somewhere I'm surprised she's not out on the decking actually so so uh, everybody loves Poppy. <laughs> she's the most placid of easy going of dogs. She's so gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you what kind of yarn I've got for um, the Harry Potter. Uh, it's again Hayfield again. And it's bonus Aaron for the blankie. And then I've got bonus double knit for, for the scarf. Oh, that sun is so warm. Oh, I can feel the heat on my head. It's unusual, isn't it, for October? Anyway, I thought that I'd cancelled or I'd got my last um, subscription of Interweave Crochet because, as you know from the last videos I've made when I've been reviewing them, I haven't liked much what's in them, so I think I've given them both to Kelly. But this one has arrived and it's actually got a couple of things in that I actually like. So, But look how thin and flimsy it is compared with the other magazines. So this one is... Uh, fall of 2019 and um, it's got uh, contents it's got a jacket that's quite nice there'll be another picture of it further in so I can tell you what it's made from uh, there's two patterns but you've got to buy these two patterns, I quite like the blue one it reminds me of the one I've just made that's gone down to Kelly's to be photographed um, the dress is from sugarbushyarns.com and the blue sweater is from Plymouth Yarn Design Studio um, so what have we got in here um, so again it's just twists on cables and things like that Right, I do think that is quite nice. You'd have to get the right, um, you know, kind of 
leather tag things for it, wouldn't you? Because that's what makes the show. Well, the, I don't know you call it a show, a shoulder show, sort of mini poncho, isn't it? But I do think that's very nice for fall. It's done in cables. It's um, the Wheatfield cabled cape or capelet, that's what they call it. And uh, what's it worked in? I'm not sure what it's worked in. Maybe I'll have to look further in the book to find out what it's worked in. That's the the cardigan that's on in the front. You can't see the cable on, on it from the front view, but it's got a lovely cabled piece down the back of it. Again, I'll have to go further in to tell you what it's made from. Um, this is a little open work for me, but a lot of people do like open work sweaters, don't they? Going the wrong way again, as usual. That one's called the Autumn Equinox Sweater. This one is a short sleeved jacket. As I say, they've improved their patterns in this one. There's one or two that I think are quite nice. <laughs> that one is the, uh, the clothes cardigan. Let's see what else we've got. This is the one on the front cover, which I think is quite nice. It's a cardigan. It's got cables down the back and the cables down. Woo! <laughs> Start again. Cables down the front. Where the buttons are. It is a cardigan, yeah, I was just checking it, was, it wasn't a sweater with like faux buttons down the front. Um, this is, he says it's a cowl, but it looks more like a shoulder shawl to me, a shoulder thing to me. And it's got the hats as well. That one is the Harvester Cowl and the Coriander Puff Hat. This one is like a, a, a gilet of sorts, but it's got a bit of an interesting panel on the, ooh, on the side of it. You can see like an openwork panel down the side. Nice bit of extra warmth, isn't it, in the winter? This one I do like. It's um, called the Grill Pullover. It's quite an open work pullover, you can see it. I'll tell you what they're made out of when I get further in. There's a cabled scarf. That would be unisex, wouldn't it? And then you've got a hat. I think they've done quite well with this uh, with this model, haven't they? Right, the Wheatfield Cape is done in uh, oh, Kelbourne Woolen Scout which is 100% wool and it's on a 5mm so it's got to be about doesn't give you any clue whether it's a 3 or 4 weight or what it is um, I would imagine it's got to be a 4 or a thick double knitting if you're in the UK um, the Journey Home Cardigan, that's the one with the cable on the back of it there. That one is done in um, Sugarbush Yarns Rapture, um, super fine merino wool and llama soft. And that is telling me it's a four. And it's done on a 450 and a 5mm hook. The very, very open work sweater, the Autumn Equinox sweater, is done in Brown Sheep Company Cotton Fleece. And that is number one yarn, it can't be. My eyes must be deceiving me. It can't be. I think it's a three. <laughs> Never bring me glasses, do I? It's on an 8mm hook anyway, so that's the a very open work one, you can see the picture at the bottom. I think it's a 3, I think it's my eyesight that's seeing one. 
cloves cardigan is done in Manas del Uruguay uh, silk blend and it's a merino, 70% merino wool, 30% silk and that's a number three weight again it's done on a 375 and a 450 hook that's the um, let me see if I can find the bigger picture that's the open work one I was trying to show you before the open work. this one I'm just talking about is uh, is that cardigan The one that's on the front cover, the pie bake cardigan, is done in um, Kelbourne Woolen Scout, 100% wool, and it's done on a 425 and a 450 hook, so it's probably going to be, yet yeah, it it's a number three weight, double knitted weight. Um, the Harvester Cowl is alpaca blend, Peyton's alpaca blend which is a oh gosh I think it's a five that one it's an eight millimeter hook for that one that's that one should have brought me glasses shouldn't I? I always say that don't I? a bit boring uh, the coriander puff hat is in Plymouth yarn Galway worsted number four Wait, that's the, the hat. The gilet. That's done in um, Zitron Finest Royal Alpaca. And it's number three and it's on four millimeter. Hook. And we've got the one I like, the grill pullover. That's oops. That one, the grill pullover. That's done in Universal Yarn Deluxe Double Knitting, Super Wash and 450 hook. Ridgefield hat is done in Superwash Merino fingering and it's a fine one I think, yes, because it's on a, oh no it's not, do you know I wish I had my glasses, it's on a 5mm and, oh a double ended Tunisian hook, that's why it looks so close together, it's a Tunisian hat, thought it looked a bit close together for a Enhance your craft. Weekends at home. <laughs> We've got the pillow. Or I'll call that a big cushion. <laughs> uh, a little cushion. And I like the wall hanging. The wall hanging is very nice, isn't it? Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, I think you can see it. And you've got the zigzag blanket. Another cushion and another wall hanging. I like these. <laughs> I like these wall hangings, but I never know quite where to put them. That's the floor rug. You may have noticed that my phone no longer plays Woody Woodpecker, which is a nice change, isn't it? What have I got now? fixed bean and delivered the bag. So we should expect some photographs from Kelly. Maybe not today. I think she said she was going to do them tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I quite like that rug. There's a rug and then there's a bedspread. Yes, I couldn't get down. You see, it would have been another week before I could have got down to see Kelly. And 
We managed to put some more things on the web page. I'm very pleased to say that the web page has been, had a lovely response. People have been ever so kind, you know, and said some lovely things about it. So, uh, if you haven't yet seen it, you know, it's the Lancashire Crafty Lasses shop. Uh, I think you have to type in Lancashire Crafty Lasses dot shop to get to it through Google. Yeah, I will put the link to it underneath here. And uh, everybody's been so kind and said how nice it looks, how professional it looks. So we've really got our fingers crossed, you know, that it's uh, it's going to be a success for us. It's something we wanted to try for a long time. So it was kind of a question of it's now or never. We push the boat out and do it. So fingers crossed for us, please. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I really like that. It's done in a chunky, you know, the the wall art. Done in chunky. The blankets done in red heart yarns. Sheep, sheep. It's a merino wool. That's the zigzag blanket, you know, with the tassels on it. Um, cushions are done in. Valley yarns, Northampton. Oh. I don't know if you can hear anybody shouting in the distance. I don't know whether there's some kind of football on today. The pub that's down the road from us has um, like TV and there's a football on. So every time they score a goal, you usually get a big roar goes up here. The diamond wall, wall hanging is Wool and the Gang's um, Ra Ra Raffia, which is wood pulp paper. Well, that's unusual, isn't it? Yeah, and it's on a 550 hook. That's the one with the fringing on it. And the lovely rug that I said I liked is paint box yarns, wool mix, Aran. It's acrylic and wool, 50-50 acrylic and wool. Done on an 8mm hook. I like the colours in it, though. The colours in that one. And the throw, the bed throw, is Cascade Yarns, 100% wool. It's on a 4mm hook, but it's a number 4 weight. I think we're at the end now. Oh, that's what I've got, one of those lights. Best thing I bought, one of those lights that are just like a daylight light. It goes right over your work. It's brilliant, even when you're crocheting black. Brilliant. I would recommend a craft light to anybody, yeah. Yeah. So that's been a, it's quite a, uh, a good one. Then that just says, welcome to Fibre Nation. It's a new podcast uh, about community and connection. So you can learn more about that at Interweaving. Anyway, what am I doing today? Today I'm finishing off a, a little waistcoat I'm making. I didn't bring it out because it's all bits and tails and everything like that. Um, so tonight on the live I'll probably start one of the kiddies blankets. I'll probably do that. Um, I'm thinking of doing the Harry Potter in corner to corner because I've never done corner to corner. Because it's more, it's more for a boy isn't it the corner to corner it's more solid I mean the little unicorn blanket I'm going to be doing in granny stitch you know like the granny square and go bigger and bigger and bigger um, but then I have to change colors for that so I might try my hand at corner to corner mm. Kelly insists that it's quite easy to do so I'll take her word for it so I'll be on live later on today and I'm not sure whether Kelly's making a video. I think she is because she's got two cardigans that she's got to show that she's finished and they look rather nice actually, like a cocoon jacket. They are orders but uh, if you like them I'm sure she will replicate them uh, if you put your order in. <laughs> Anybody who wants anything from us, if you put your requests in through the, you know, 
Lancashire Crafty Lasses. And then, as I say, we will um, then, you know, decide whether it's something we'll, we can make at this time or, or, or not. But if you could put your orders in through that web page and not just ask us through here, it would be a big, big help because it would help to raise our profile. And uh, we're all about that, aren't we? <laughs> I'm sorry if it sounds a bit like a commercial, but it is difficult to get yourself known in this world, especially when you're starting off a new... Um, I know you know us, you know me, you know Kelly, you know the standard of our work, but we are starting this new web page and people who will be viewing it won't know us yeah, particularly well. So it's nice if you get some nice reviews into it from people who've ordered you know, things from you, and they order them through the site, so yeah, that's it, that's great. And anyway, I'm going to go now because I need a bit of lunch and I'll go see what my lovely Poppy's doing. I'm surprised she's not joined us. I love her to bits. She's a beautiful dog. Uh, I did get asked if I wanted a, a Mastiff pup <laughs> today. No. <laughs> Much as I love dogs, that's a little bit like having a pony in the house. Anyway, as I say, I'm going to go now because Kelly's got her bag of goodies. So I'm happy about that. She may do a video later on. I'm not sure. But watch this space. So I'll see you all later on this evening. So bye for now. It's not switching off.